Welcome along to episode eight of Locked Up. It's a long time between episode seven and episode eight because, frankly, nothing's actually happened. Shock. Shock. Um, so we have, so the last thing we touched upon was obviously we showed you some training stuff. What, what has happened though, and the bang in the background is Chloe making breakfast, uh, as it's the morning time again when we check in, is that both of us decided to set ourselves a 13 week challenge from here moving forward to get ourselves into shape. Um, I've trained, we both trained throughout. Back into shape. Back into we shape. were in shape. We were in we shape, went out of shape, and we're going back into <laughs> shape again. Um, basically we, have trained throughout um, <coughs> quarantine, but being very kind of relaxed with our diets, obviously, to get through it. I think it's important to enjoy yourself. We've had, uh, we've probably drunk more than we would normally. Um, so we've both got different plans. We're both back tracking on my fitness pal now. Chloe's got a website, chloemade.com. It's got all the information about this kind of stuff. I've got some fitness books, Perfect Fit. Chloe's training online clients with Emma Story Gordon, the EC method. If you really want to knuckle down and follow our journey, you can do that. But that's as exciting as it's got, really. I have um, been editing a book, which I can't tell you about at the moment, but that's been very exciting. That's coming out hopefully around Christmas time, potentially. I'm not exactly sure of the dates yet, so that's taken up a lot of my time. I haven't really DJed. We haven't been doing a lot of live streams, but I'm very invigorated to get training and start going. Mentally, I'm in a good place. It was obviously Mental Health Week last week, so I've done a few... Um, podcasts and bits and pieces. House of Rugby continues. We had a fantastic... Um, episode with Nigel Owens, very moving. Every week that show is something different, whether it's funny, laughter, uh, amusement. My beard is getting completely out of hand, and my hair is getting out of hand. Um, lockdown, I think, could probably do with being over by now. How are you, my dear? You're not on camera, don't panic. Uh, yeah, I feel good, actually. I feel like it's nice to be back on a bit of a track. We had a bit of break. I think things are going to start using up in the next two weeks. Potentially. Well, look, this episode, I'm not sure what it's going to contain. We'll probably film a little bit of training. We're going to film some of the stuff we're doing. Uh, we're actually going on to Lorraine this week. We've got a research chat. Yeah, we've got a research chat. Chloe did, um, I'm going to put video footage of her practicing her little moves. She did a uh, for, for Race for Life um, in, uh, Facebook Live training session on Saturday, which was great fun. Uh, we had a bit of a big sort of midweek barbecue blowout as our kind of last thing. Lots of drinking, lots of gin. Chloe, lots of, Chloe, Chloe reckons she's invented this new drink called Ice Wine. It's basically just rosé and ice. She's going to patent it. I don't think there's a big, big, big business model in it. But um, we had that, and that's, that's about it. So thanks so much for all the people who've tuned in. There might not be many more of these. You might keep vlogging or blogging anyway, but I really appreciated it, and it's been very kind of therapeutic. So we'll, we'll catch you all really shortly. <laughs> Finished breakfast, uh, got those red weird eyes again. I'm sweating in my eyes. Anyone watch this? Owns a heads, headband, sweatband company. Please send me one. Um, yes, yeah, just done my session. So I'm putting my training differently together at the moment. So I'm doing weights and like moderate state cardio followed by a day of like flat out hit straight cardio. So today I did battle ropes so about uh, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, for five minutes. Minutes rest strict. First climber, again, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for five minutes. Minute rest, back to ropes, back to versa, back to ropes, back to versa. And that's my session done for today. 700 and something calories burned, 53 minutes. It's not bad now. I'm gonna go and uh, do some DJ stuff. Put my radio show back to my radio together which is available on iTunes it was on Spotify but the fun police took it down because copyright but yeah that's mine done for day Chloe's trained already so we'll catch up later in the day such an exciting day have I still got oh thank goodness I don't I just had a Chloe maybe approaching shaken because there was a big boy she let me drink out of the bowl um, and I got it all down my beard <laughs> what's going on here we are making da -da -da, banana bread our own version. Oh, sad person. <laughs> got, we're making it brown. Yeah, editing a book. She's not that happy. Um, so yeah, we're, we're doing banana bread. I've got house rugby tonight. 
just worked on some new DJ bits and pieces. <gasps> Should I show you the beast? Oh, you might want to see the beast quickly. The beast. the beast. It's called the beast. Let me show you the beast. This is the beast of all beasts. The Pioneer V10. It is six channels of pure delight. It's the most insane bit of DJ equipment known to man. So hopefully my mix will sound better. I'm more creative. Or they just sound like toilet, who knows? But if you like them, tune into Back Row Radio. She doubted me, but we're underway. Admittedly, there were a few balls ups, a few spillages, a few mess ups. Almost lost my finger to a Kenwood food processor. Um, other than that, we're, we're, we're up. We're up and cooking. Not quite yet, but we're there enough there. Actually, if you want to make this recipe at home, you can you can do it yourself. You need to add, I'll read the ingredients, 285 grams of plain flour, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, half a teaspoon of salt, 110 grams of butter, 225 grams of, not instead of cast sugar, we use brown sugar, two free range eggs, four ripe bananas, 85 milliliters of milk, we use uh, whole milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Um, and you basically put uh, the flour, bicarbonate of soda, and salt into a large mixing bowl, uh, sieve, it, sieve it in so they're all um, fine in a separate bowl. Cream the butter and eggs together until light fluffy. It's quite difficult with brown sugar, so you might need to use some sort of electric whisk. Add the eggs, mashed bananas, buttermilk, vanilla extract to the butter and sugar mixture and mix well. Fold in the flour mixture. That's where we've got to with the mix you saw. Grease your, your cake tin, put it in the oven, which you've heated to 180 degrees uh, or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and let it cook. Um, obviously put a knife in the middle, you let it cook for about, what does it say here, for about an hour, and then put a knife through the middle, and if it's got no soggy cake mixture on it, then it's ready, and don't let your soggy bottoms burn, okay? Sorry, what were you wanted to say? What would you like to add to the end? Well, what would you like in the sentence? I said, don't let your soggy bottoms burn. And I said, if this is soggy bottom, then by definition, it's not burn. Yeah, and this is how fun being in a relationship is with you. <laughs> Can't let anything <laughs> slide, <laughs> in it? Can't let anything slide. <laughs> Well, you're a bitter, miserable person drinking your little lemon water in your little ivory tower. Look at that mixture. Huh? You shame. Shame on you. Got to grease my tin. Not be greasing your tin for a while after that attitude. I'm a specialist in tin greasing. Oh, God. Absolute professionalism of the highest order. Lovely, lovely stuff. Jealous. Jealousy where we're getting the banana bread. Yeah. yeah, you can't have any, can you? Because you look like a big walls banger. You look like a sausage in a bun. <laughs> yeah. The quarantine bun will not be missed by you. No. Oh. Look at that bad boy. Ready. So now I'm off to go and record House of Rugby. We've got the legend that's Jamie George on this week. You can't see him in person, but you can see him here. There he is. Look at that smiley little face, eh? All the gang, Cy, Xander, Jack, everyone just lurking around. A pay nose late again, which is just no no good really. I mean I should really host this show on my on my own, but anyway. Hello. What's going on in here? With your new lamp. I know. How exciting. I'm upset because it highlights the fact that we need to repaint that wall. Yeah, why do we need to repaint that wall again? We have to take a picture then, don't we? It's been painted for years and years and years, so we found the matching paint, but you can see where it's fresh. And also, there's a dent there, which I just noticed. Maybe when you bully me, push me against it. Do you want to show everyone where you threw a plate against the wall? No, 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 I didn't. Look. Show them. No, nothing to see. Show you're a liar. You're a liar. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> Crazy glowy. Dinner time in Haskin Palace is always an exciting time. I'm going with my favourite this evening. Sausage pasta with chicken sausages. Obviously pork. Slightly more exciting, but chicken sausages is absolutely delightful. Chloe's short she's having. Bare naked noodles potentially and something else. Oh, yeah. here we are. Replacing the pasta with baked pasta. Lovely. And, I, and here's my banana bread that I made earlier. It's all go. Teamwork. Dishwasher's been emptied. It's absolute flat out family time here this evening. House of Rugby was fantastic. Jamie George, an unbelievable guest. If you want to find out more, then head over to Apple and Spotify to watch that. Today's been quite productive. It was a day off. Got a massage. 
done everything really potentially. I think we're in a positive mood. We're going to watch some Band the Brothers. We, we're going to, you know, a lot of cuddling tonight. And then we're going to um, listen to an audio book before bed. Right up early, we're on Lorraine tomorrow. Exciting times. Bedtime draws very close. Oh, God, look at me. Um, we decide most evenings, actually, in lockdown, which is coming to an end, I think. And this probably might be the last lockdown. I don't know. Um, we... We've been watching Band of Brothers together, which is an emotional roller coaster. If you haven't seen it, you need to see it. And then I like to go to bed early and read. I'm actually reading a fantastic book called Doctor Strange, Miss Norrell by Susanna Clark, who um, Chloe recommended as it's an absolute game changer. We've done a lot of giving away to charity as well, um, clothing and sorting everything out. That's as exciting as it's got, really. Nothing much. Wow, that's. It's an interesting look. Looks like you're waiting for a bus with nothing. I hope you've got some knickknacks on underneath that. It's not a very interesting look there. Swatting around with your, your Waitrose bag. You're trying to tell us something, babe. Hey, eh? Waitrose big dog. Look at you. Oh, uh, off to drop a bomb. Morning, all. This is part of Locked Up, episode eight, I think it is. We've just gone and done Lorraine. So now well, that sounded done. awkward. I haven't done Lorraine. So now it's done. Well, dinner first. You know it's time to re myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is, uh, this is what my wife could look like. <laughs> it's like, remember that TV show, Bullseye? I don't even remember. When every time they lost a prize, they brought in what they did. This is what you could have won. It's like a speedboat. <laughs> this is what you could have had. Go and make yourself look rank. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You never look rank. Um, yes, yeah, so we just went on Lorraine talking about Race for Life. Uh, cancer research has lost about 120 million. Um, in funding, so we went on there and talked about that. I had to make myself a full studio professional with lighting, etc. Um, even put some beard oil in the in the setup. And what's, what's interesting is locked up, made it on national TV. How excited <laughs> are you about that? I'm fucking thrilled, thrilled. Because I'm sure all the ladies out there who haven't washed their hair in weeks can imagine how happy I was when a he put it on the internet. And then it ended up on Good Morning Britain. Mm. Not ideal Good Morning Britain played out some clips about us drinking, me um, lifting Chloe up above my head, various other things. So it turns out that people are watching this, or if they weren't, they are now. All women in lockdown, like, I hope, I hope I'm not alone in this, but I really don't wear makeup at all. I rarely wash my hair. I'm in sweatpants like every day and I'm loving it. Like I love it, it's great. And I, I was enjoying the freedom and then all of a sudden James is in my face with the camera. I was like, you're ruining it. You're ruining everything. Um, but he loves it. It makes you really happy, doesn't it? Yeah, I just think, you know, Chloe's kind of, you know, she's always worked very, very hard. And she's always very inspirational in the amount of work she does. But she's kind of been working harder than ever during this lockdown period. You know, I've been working, but all of my, my work is public facing. So, you know, apart from my DJ live streams, doing my radio show, you know, um, I've been doing some book editing. I haven't really had a lot to do. So, you know, I wanted to do some vlogging. You know, I was training. Chloe and I, I think, have a, a, have a great relationship. We have our ups and downs. And I think it was just quite fun to, to show that in different different aspects you know I probably recorded this is no lie about 30 podcasts while I've been <laughs> in in lockdown with different people on different subjects um you know so we filmed a bit of that we had some really good conversation about mental health online so it was just important to to share those kind of bits and pieces and people people seem interested you know um so I thought I thought why not it's driven Chloe mad but <laughs> part and parcel it's like a passive aggressive war you know I just keep <laughs> keep filming until she gives in <laughs> One of the things we decided to do um, towards the end of quarantine, if the end is in sight, is to start um, tracking all the food again. Uh, what Chloe's kind of always been doing there, I, on the other hand, have been a little slack. So I'm making sure we're trying to get in shape. Um, so you know, we've got a good training plan, we have got um, all of our calories sorted out, and we have got uh, kind of what we're eating. And even though I've sort of training once a day, I'm still recording loads of podcasts, I've just done the private. Private Parts podcast with Jamie Lang. Um, we've done, I did Eat, Eat, Sleep, Rave, or something like that. Repeat. Repeat, something like that podcast, which is quite cool. Um, one thing I've found really important is, um, is food stuff, is I've started using a company uh, called uh, Build the Flower to get my food delivered. So we order it online and they deliver it over, um, and it is really very useful, and they get incredible food. Obviously it arrives all vacuum packed and vacuum sealed. Um, and get things like fresh organic chicken. 
I've got some pork and chili sausages. All of this is fantastic, which means that um, Chloe and I can plan our week. So we, we get it delivered, then we know exactly what we're going to be having. And then obviously if we need to go to the, uh, the other shop, we'll get some food delivered, vegetables, etc. that we can. So it's a pretty useful um, setup. So I recommend it try field and flour, beautiful different foods. We've also got pre-prepared food, like warm and sun. Uh, we can see in here, some chicken wings and stuff, peri peri chicken wings already um, uh, marinated. So we're gonna have them as well. So we know what our protein is and fats for the week. But, and that's really all to report at the moment. Except my hair is getting more powerful, my beard is getting more powerful. One thing we haven't really talked about is what we do post post training nutrition wise. Um, so I try to see have most of my calories well not most of my calories, but I have a big breakfast over a thousand calories to set me up for the day. We're obviously back tracking. Chloe is always tracking, I wasn't tracking. Post sessions, I'm sponsored by Grenade. So I always have one of these ready to drinks. Uh, and if I've done a mad session, I'll put one of the ready to drinks in with some extra carbs. Um, and obviously track all that, rehydrate. So my rehydration for most of the day is about four of these, about two liters something. I put salt in them. That was a mistake I was making before. I was drinking lots, but not putting any rehydration bits in which meant that I wasn't actually getting as hydrated as I thought I was. So, you, you know, even when you're an old dog, very old looking dog, you can still learn new tricks. Gang, Nike Air Force Ones. I've obviously been watching a lot of um, The Last Dance of Michael Jordan. I never bought a pair of Air Jordans, never had any. And I actually went all in the whole load the other day. Um, and I actually came across a company that have done an incredible job called Geeky Blinders. You can find them on Instagram, great name. And if you have a look at this, my little budding camera lady, these are some very, very special custom uh, Air Force Ones. Got the defected logo, they're my favorite um, DJ company, but they can customize it with kind of any photo or anything you want to do it. And I was gonna make these kind of a piece of art. I might wear them for DJing, but I might not. Um, with a picture of me DJing at Cheltenham uh, for about 3,000 people, which is quite cool. And then obviously you've got the other one, which has got, again, a nice bit of branding pioneer, but a picture of me DJing, um, obviously incredibly well done. Um, and then the Geeky Blinders logo on the other side. So you can get these if you head over on, on Instagram. They are an incredible um, bit of art, bit of kit, whatever you want to do. You can obviously wear them. I think to get them customised, <coughs> about £220 to get something like this done. You can have whatever you want. You don't have to be self-indulgent and get a photo like, of me on there, but you can get whatever you want. So I uh, quite enjoy it. Chloe's going to get a pair. I'm not sure what she's going to have on them. Um, maybe a picture of herself going, behave yourself, James. Um, but other than that, yeah, check them out. Geeky Blinders, it's unbelievable. I am one sweaty mess this morning. Um, we've just, I've just done 25K um, for charity for Duchenne uh, Muscle Dystrophy, um, which was good, it didn't go too fast, but um, you know, put the effort in, obviously. Uh, some of the lads got way better time, so I'm gonna have to go out and beat them in a the week. Um, just about to have breakfast, uh, and then um, off to go shopping and do a few other bits and pieces, uh, and then back home later. Um, are exciting to say, Fla? Hi! That's what all locked up is me talking to little highs in the background. I'm in my special going out clothing today. I'm in my normal. We're going to have a social distancing barbecue. Yes. Look at them short shorts. So we've got the ooh, quadrasaur, lovely. Um, and uh, we're going off to have a social distancing barbecue with Chloe's family and it's Chloe's brother's birthday. But look what I have got him. Ooh, ooh. If he didn't like you before, he will now. I don't think he did like me before, but now he does. Beat Studio 3 Wireless. Thank you. Okay, come on, Luke. We're going to be there. All right, all right. I see you. Love you. Bit little thing you are. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> don't be an absolute. That was the worst film introduction. What's going That's on? What you told me to no, say. I didn't tell you to do anything. This is non scripted locked up. Just stop being so weird. Non scripted? Why non don't you tell them about our brothel idea? Oh, well, yeah, what was the name of the thing company you James want to James and I are going to start a brothel called The Beavery. The Beavery, yeah, no. Yeah. Which I think is genius. Yeah, if anyone wants to invest in a potential brothel. Um, <laughs> called the Beavery. the Beavery. Because also, I think during this period of lockdown, I think people will be either looking for, you know, divorces or new partners or potentially. So the brothel, the uh, the Beavery, could be the answer to your, to your problems, do you not think? Yeah. So, uh, James and I have decided that on the way to London, we're going to stop off at his barber's 
and collect some equipment to cut this and this because apparently we're still not allowed to be touched by others we're not isolating with. So we're going to get the equipment and we're going to FaceTime the barber tomorrow or later today and James will do the beard and I will do the hair. This is a big, a big nervous. No, but he said that he's had a 100% success rate so far with his clients. If the men do the beard and the women do the hair, I think we'll be good. I'm just a little bit concerned that you haven't got the skill set to manage this absolute main. Well, I actually, I used to cut my, I've got three older brothers and I used to cut their hair when I was a teenager because none of them could be bothered to go to the hairdresser. So, two of them are skinheads, not, not by, not by, yeah, not, well, yeah. no, I mean, not by, so, it is hard to do, not by social choice, is what I was going to say, by, um, Lid falling out. By choice. lid falling out choice, yeah. Two of them are skinheads and one of them has beautiful mane of hair. So great I, hair. I great hair like that. He has like amazing hair, but I no better than dad's I think. But I will say well, that's that, a big shout. Richard Mazie's lid is one of the best in the world. Uh, no, Jack's is better. Oh, wow. And I but I will say that that means that I now know how to both shave and cut hair, which I think are two completely different skill sets. It's nice, isn't it? I've raised some money for charity today and we're just popping down for a social distancing barbecue with your folks. Are you excited to see my folks? I am very much excited to see your folks. Are you lying? <laughs> the in-laws. <laughs> I, I, I don't think that you particularly care. I'd love to see in-laws. I'd love them. Like, Richard, right, Judy! What's happening? Judy! What's happening, girl? You right, girl? What's she loves it. <laughs> she does, like, she does love it. Me and my brother, <laughs> don't be weird. Sorry. Me and my brother love shouting football chants at her and she always laughs. It's really yeah, funny. Judy! Judy! Judy, mate. Fucking Judy. And every, every, <laughs> every time there's like, a really shitty tabloid headline about her we will like turn it into like a nickname or a thing so she also doesn't like as much but <laughs> we like it do you like um, that i've dressed up well as well with my luminous defective vest on yeah you're looking like quite the tall piece today tall piece. with the reflective glasses the reflective defected and the rara <laughs> <laughs> Quite the talk. Oh dear. Especially dear. like in lockdown, like this is not the time to be flashy, but you know, you how clearly am I don't flash, care. How am, I how am I flashy? How are you, what did you flashy? Mean? Is that a joke? What do you mean? Look Wait, at you. I tell you what, how, how well did my, uh, so I've got a confession to make, so I, I, over the last... You have to of, sing that, like the song. How, how the song go? I got another... Well, essentially, I, 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 yeah. well, I've got another confession to make. <laughs> is, um, do you not know the song? Yeah, Usher in it. <laughs> No, that's me using my confession. Oh, Just well, when still, I thought I said I could say my shit good. Um, I said she got one on the way. It's actually about getting someone else pregnant while he's with his fiance. Right. That's not actually Usher's a bit of a douche, so yeah. Yeah. You could match with Peace him. Up. Too. Eight down. There we are. I remember once I watched a, a news conference with Usher and he said, Nobody danced like Usher, nobody singing like Usher and I was like, Usher's a dick. Yeah. Do you remember Cisco? Thong song. I like, still boy. I still listen to Thong Song when I train. What, what, that was it makes me laugh. And I love it. That was a summer. I went to party in the park actually with Capital Event that summer. We bullshitted our way backstage. Uh, my best mate Robbie Thomas stole um, Lamar's suit jacket. Remember, he's got a pinstripe jacket. Lamar with yeah. the wood. Rob Lamar's jacket. We were getting steamy with the sugar babes. It's just good, good times drinking all the free drinks. I can't believe Robbie stole Lamar's jacket. That's a bit of a douchey thing to do. No, no, no. It was just the props were covered, but it was what it made. It wasn't like a Jacket is a prop. <laughs> well, well, and I don't think Party in the Park had a prop covered in which Lamar hung his jacket. It may have been a dressing room. And, uh, yeah, exactly. Maybe the way, but this is, don't worry about it. It's a prop covered with French for dressing. Yeah, that is what it is. A prop covered with French. It's 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 a prop but and then I can't put my head back in the car, so I've done a side bun. And people are looking into this embarrassing car because it's a Ferrari. And I just said to James, I bet they didn't, bet, bet they didn't expect to see a bitch with a side bun <laughs> in the front. Wait, well, you didn't expect to see Napoleon yeah, Dynamite's is. girlfriend rolling around the car <laughs> selling bangs. I love your bangs. Just couples, yeah. Just God, look at me. I look table. like a sweaty. I got my little dress on, Saints pants. Oh, at the thong. Your <laughs> How is everyone? Sweaty onion. Huh. Red onion. This is tea. This is what couples, chuckles and together. Stay together. So effective. Yeah. Best cardio session I've ever had. <laughs> you run out quickly. Scamp, scamp. Here you go, all my sweat in your yeah, mouth. Yeah, it's fine. It's nice. Um, How are you feeling? Good, I'm writing a post on. Careful of your tootsies. Yeah, it's fine. We need oh, to move the car. Yeah. So I can do um, lunges. upward lunges. Fine, I'll move it today. Crab walks. Good. 
Because you look like a crab. I'm a bit smart. Yes, you're very pretty, sweaty. You do. Oh, I'm sure your followers you will do. strongly agree. I look, look. like a, I look like Mrs. Trunchbull. I look like a... Who would have Instagram that train and look like models? They don't understand. Not training properly, babes. I know. The basic bitches. There's one girl. I'm out of breath now. There's one girl on Instagram that everybody loves. Her body's insane. She's on some very naughty supplements. Right. This is and quite... it's annoying me. Right. So you should say. Oh, well, why? It's like a couple's training. No, I don't. You're... Oh. It's a suboptimal cardio. It's optimal. So there you have it. That is the time to end Locked Up, episode eight. Trained three times, made banana bread, gone to London, showed off, had my lid trimmed, talked about mental health, talked about everything. If you like these videos, and please share, please subscribe. There'll be plenty more things coming, lots of exciting news from me and Bun Lid. Um, bedtimes are always fun, but look, all in all, I look less like a tramp. Lid's still falling out, but I look sharp as fuck. I've been seeing you all. Thanks, you. Keep sharing, keep subscribing, spread the word, yeah?